Hey guys, we are live again this Tuesday. We are live on Facebook and we are now live on Instagram. It's great being live with you again this week. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, send them through. Uh, we get a lot of questions throughout the week as well so um, that we answer on the direct message. So if you have some questions, just direct message me on Facebook or on Instagram and we can talk about it, we can sort it out and we can help each other out. Great. Hi Dylan, thanks for joining in. Hi L L Lydia, Lila, thanks for joining in. Um, if, what questions do you have, send them through. If you have any questions, send them through and we will answer them live on the feed today. Um, so Dylan and Lila, what happened this week? What do you want to know? And then we can take care of that. Guys, so what happened to me this week or since last week is um, I did some networking. I went to an event called uh, Marnus Broedrijk's uh, book launch, the 90 rules book. So guys, if you see it on the shelves, give it a try. I've started reading it. It's real good so far. So um, yeah, uh, I think that's a good book to try. Marnus is also a South African entrepreneur. Uh, Kevin, thanks for joining in. What questions do you have? Send them through and we will talk about it. So Marnus is also a South African entrepreneur. He's been on Shark Tank and um, I had the opportunity to have a quick chat with him about entrepreneurship. And um, I also talked to Romeo and Gil from Shark Tank. And these guys are passionate about entrepreneurship in South Africa. They have plans and things that they want to do, um, that they're busy with. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in South Africa in terms of entrepreneurship within the next few months or even the next year or two. Um, guys, if you have any questions, send them through and we can answer them live. Uh, so send it through um, and then we will talk about it. So yeah, I had the great opportunity to meet with all of those guys, big entrepreneurs in our country. That's really making a difference. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in entrepreneurship, make sure that you follow all of the entrepreneurs in the social media space. Um, so make sure you check my Instagram and Facebook every day for your encouragement or your quick tips and tools. But also make sure that you follow these guys like Marnus and Gil and Romeo and see what they're up to. I think it's real important that we as entrepreneurs or as um, people that wants to become financially independent or people that has a side hustle or something, you know, be part of this community where we have these leaders in industry that can help us out and share some knowledge with us. So go check out the 90 rules book as well uh, and I'm sure it will be of value to you. So y'all guys had some um, awesome networking uh, with um, all of these guys. I went with Franku, Leibrandt and Marnie and those guys and we just had a great evening at the event. Um, and some big things to come guys busy talking about visiting all of the schools next year um, a list of almost over 200 schools that um, we might be able to get access to um, next year so my plan is or our plan is to just go and from one school to the other talk about finances talk about entrepreneurship and talk about the financial concepts that we need and able to understand finance and able to understand money and um, enable to um, become financially independent. It's all in my book, How to Become a Millionaire at 22. So everything's there, but I feel it's important to visit these schools and um, tell these things to the youth, to the um, high school children, to um, change their mindsets on how they think. Um, about finances. Hi month. thanks for joining in. If you have any questions, send them through and we will answer them live. Um, then um, we can talk about it. So, so yeah, next year's plan is visiting all of the schools and making sure that um, the youth knows what's happening um, with finances. Uh, yeah, the reason I started the book was the fact that I had all the friends that told me, Albert, these things that you're talking about now property investment the businesses the financial skills and tools if I knew these things when I was younger because these friends of mine was like 30 or 35 they said Albert if I 
I knew these things you're telling me now, when I was younger, it would have changed my life. Hi Shalandri, how's it going? What's up? If you have any questions, send it through. How is the business going? How's the web design business going? How's the um, icing business going? Uh, let me know and if you run into anything that you need to know this week um, just ask and we can talk about it awesome uh, so yeah they are they told me Albert I'm 35 I'm 30 now if I knew these things when I was younger it would have completely changed my life it would have completely changed the way I use my finances it would have completely changed the way I planned my finances so I said perfect why not write a book I know how, I have done it myself, so why not write a book um, which can show these people how, show them how to become a millionaire at 22 and then hopefully 10 years from now all of the guys that's now in high school, the guys and girls that's now in high school would know these financial concepts so that they do not sit in a position where they cannot be financially independent. So yeah. Definitely necessary to push the entrepreneurial movement in South Africa, especially with our economy um, that's fluctuating, um, which has a big impact on people's jobs, on life costs, on the, the whole um, living, you know, the, the price of living and the cost of living. And that is always fluctuating. So it's so important for us to become financially independent so that we can take control of our own finances and so that we can create our own income and create our own wealth so we need to focus on that if you are an artist if you are a race car driver if you are a conservationist any any type of industry that you're in you will need finances to make that happen any type of dream that you have you will need finances to make that happen so why not understand the financial concepts why not study them and why not truly grasp the financial concepts so that you can generate your own income and so that you can create your own wealth in order to fund that dream or fund that industry that you're in so that you can live life okay Anton thanks for joining in if you have any questions send them through right now and we can talk about it so, Kevin, Laila, Armand, Shalandri, um, what's up? Dylan, send some questions through so that we can talk about it. What did you do this week? What did you struggle with in terms of your business or your side hustle or your entrepreneurial journey? And then we can answer it. Shalandri is saying, hello, both of my businesses are going great. Guys, check out Shalandri. She's also in the uh, social, um, in the media, digital media space, and she also... Uh, do some um, has a business in terms of uh, cake icing and, and things that she prepare so check her out um, both are great I need some advice on a business plan okay so business plans guys a lot of entrepreneurs tell me Albert I need help with my business plan business plans are good they're not great okay um, they're good but they're not great the thing is, business is so fluctuating. Um, I mean, if I think about the business plan that I have for my current company, Gazuru, where we do social media, branding, and web design, where we are now, and the business plan that I have had before starting it is completely different spaces. Like, completely. It's, it's, that business plan is not at all relevant anymore. So it's real important um, that your business plan, you shouldn't take so much time and focus on your business plan um, that keeps you from just going at it. So some people spend like a thousand hours on developing these, this foolproof um, business plan, but then in the end, as soon as you hit the business, stuff change. Um, you get to you 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 um, get into the markets and then you see oh but this isn't actually the the opportunity where the opportunity lies the opportunity is actually here and then you adapt um, Shalandri is saying I have an offer for funding but I need to show them a business plan so I think um, if you want to show them something show them market trends show them possible profits show them possible losses 
uh, show them what I always show big investors is I tell them this is the the immediate a medium scenario what is most possibly likely to happen this is the excellent scenario what we all hope for and this is the worst case scenario what can happen and if we can still make a profit from the worst case scenario then we're good to go so so yeah I'll say focus on the key indicators you can go Google Solandry KPI key performance indicators and focus on them and then your business plan should more be about the dream about the passion about the end goal focus on that show them this is where I want to be this is where we're going this is the ideal this is the dream and then how we get there um, is going to change from day to day but if you have that goal and vision that's it Anton is asking a question okay. mm. people struggle with bad self-esteem more than fear how do you help people improve that okay Anton is asking people struggling with bad self-esteem rather than fear hi Emma thanks for joining in what's up send me a question if you have one and then we'll answer it live um, bad self-esteem is an issue because you need to be able to get up in the morning, you need to be able to believe in yourself, and you need to be able to go for it. And if you don't trust in yourself, if you don't believe that you're capable of doing it, then, uh, then you're gonna struggle actually implementing it. Um, so I would say some of the things that I did, I don't have my wallet here with me now, um, but I had like this little, this little, it's more like the size of a business card, where there's a lot of affirmation words on there. And then I would re read it to myself every morning. When I was just starting out of business, um, I, was, I didn't have parents or you know, uncles or family that could teach me business skills and things. So I really had to you know, understand or learn these concepts myself. Hi Charmaine, thanks for joining in. If you have any questions, send them through. Uh, Emma, what's happening? How was your week? And if you have questions about business, send them through. Shalandri, did I answer your question? Let me know. So, Anton, I had to like read these things to myself, saying that, like for example, on the card they would say, I am a great businessman. I create my own wealth. I believe in my future. I believe that I can accomplish that. Um, I take pride in my business. I am a giver and with my wealth I will make my dreams come true. And I would read these things to myself every morning when I look in the mirror. And what happens is over time that really builds your self-esteem. Over time that generates um, self-esteem and builds your trust in yourself. Because you're saying these things to yourself over and over, your brain is being programmed that yes that is true um, and then eventually um, that makes a difference in your self-esteem the other option that I would also suggest is start with small goals for example I watched this awesome speech about a guy that talked about making your bed in the morning okay Anton is this good stuff let me know if I'm on the right track here um, so basically you said you need to make your bed every morning because if you do, that's your first win. Okay guys, that's your first win. So after making your win, you say, hey, I've accomplished something today. I've recently just had my first win for the day. I successfully completed making my bed. And then you already feel good about yourself. Because there's one task that you've already completed successfully. So it's, you're already on higher energy you're already more positive, you're already more motivated. So the next task is much easier because now you have more energy that you put into it. So then the next small task can be maybe a small client request or maybe your 15 minute workout for the morning. And after you've complete, successfully completed that, you would have now completed two tasks successfully for, for the day. So that also gives you more energy and that gives you more drive to tackle the next task and this is like a snowball effect that builds your self-esteem with 
every small task that you complete, you have more courage to take on the next one. And it all starts with making your bed. So that's another option that you can take by gradually building your self-esteem every day by successfully completing small tasks. Easy tasks that you know you would be able to complete and quite soon you will be able to complete bigger tasks, more daunting tasks because you have the energy drive and self-motivation to do so. Anton, let me know if that was great. Um, Charmaine, Emma, Shalandri, Lila, Armand, Kevin, Dylan, let me know if you have any questions then we can talk about it. Um, Anton, let me know if there's anything else that we can talk about. Um, guys, I'm so happy that the live sessions are doing great. We're really getting some great feedback from it. Um, I talked to somebody the other day that says that they always join in, um, but they don't necessarily ask questions, but they like to just listen um, what the other people are asking and that they have similar questions and that they get good feedback and answers on them that really helps them throughout the week. So guys, um, send the questions through and we can talk about it. Yeah, so it's, it's been a great year so far. Um, a lot of media coverage that we had. If you have missed some of it, go check on, the, on my website, www.millionaire22.com. Watch my interviews on 5FM, um, Pretoria FM, um, SA FM, Tux FM. Uh, go check out my interview on, on Bait Soccer. Uh, read the, the interviews I had with Pretoria News, The Times, uh, and um, the star and all of those and then you can um, just catch up on what's hap happened this year there's so many things that happened and uh, yeah just catch up and see what we've talked about um, we had a great session on Pretoria FM a three-week session recently that went about um, branding and digitalizing your business and we just got the podcast today so we'll put it up shortly so watch the Facebook and Instagram pages for that I think it was a great three-week session uh, about branding uh, your business uh, social media and um, how to change your passion into a business so keep a lookout for that on my social media so Lander is asking can you explain more how it works to get your business registered okay so you have to register your business as a PTY um, in South Africa and there's actually not much to explain, uh, Shalandri. You literally just contact an uh, accountant or accounting firm. And we at Gazeroo can also help out with that. Uh, the prices range between 900 to 1,000 Rand um, to just get a company number, a PTY number. And you just register your business. Um, the accountants or even us at Gazeroo can help you with that process. And um, we do everything for you. We register your name, PTY LTD, and you get your documents. Um, that includes your company registration document as well as your company registration certificates that explains who has shares in the business and who's the directors and that type of thing. And then you're good to go. So it's as easy as that. Just contact your nearest accounting firm or even contact uh, Gazaru and then um, we can take care of that for you. Not, not a big process, it's literally just paperwork. Guys, thank you so much for joining in this week. Uh, catch us again next week, Tuesday at 3. We're live every Tuesday at 3. I hope I gave some great value to you guys this week. If you have any more questions, send them through throughout the week on our direct messaging system. Direct message us on Instagram or Facebook uh, or on the website and we will come back to you with some good answers. Cool guys, see you again next week and um, go change the world, go put some effort into your business, go work extremely hard and change energy into value and create something new, could build something great and go further on the journey to becoming financially independent. Cool guys, have a great day.